Yo, what is good there, guys? It's your boy King. Yes, sir. I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to give you guys a brief overview of my plugin that I've been working on for the past week. It is a debugging tool. It's a productivity tool that's supposed to allow you to track variables easier than normal. So let's just get it started and show what it does. So I set it up to where you can activate it using the console command using the show elite debug widget. And if you enter that console command it'll toggle the widget on and then if you enter that command again you can see here uh, since my mouse cursor is over the widget the widget takes focus so i need to move it off of the widget and then if i enter the command again you can actually toggle the widget off but if i go ahead and turn it on and then shift f1 to move my cursor over this puppy here and it'll take control of the cursor and over here you can see the, the cursor kind of disappears letting you know that you're no longer interacting with the widget so here we have this actor filter and this lets you filter through the actor type that you pass in to the widget you can pass in pawn character actor whatever you want to and then we have this data filter type which is using the the major data types that most variables are you know outputting so let's just get some data in there and see what it looks like with some with some data inside of it. So you can see when I slide there, my slide velocity pops up into the widget and it updates as I slide. Same thing when I boost jump and also when I wall jump, you can see that all those values change whenever the action has changed. So let me do this again. If I wall jump you see that value will change slide into a wall jump into a boost jump that will all change and update for me now you're probably thinking why would i need this i already have the output log i already have print logs and print strings why do i need this well there are some things that are a little bit harder to track and a little bit harder to keep track of of their values changing especially with the print strings and the log uh, output logs and the biggest thing is that values that are tracked on a ticking type of output are a little bit harder to keep track of when you're constantly looking at a small widget or small text on your top left screen so this just allows you to easily track a variable no matter where it is uh, no matter if it's in blueprint or if it's in c plus plus you can always add a variable to the to the track variables uh, map and it will display an update whenever that variable has changed so let me show you how easy that is if you go into maybe a actor class and you want to maybe track a float or track a boolean or maybe track an object which you can do all you have to do is get that debug subsystem and i program this in a subsystem so that it's accessible in blueprints as easy as you know just pulling up the search and then looking for git debug and git debug subsystem will pop up there and this is also accessible in c plus plus as well so if you want to track a variable in c plus plus there is a function to do that inside of c plus plus but let's go ahead and see what this looks like when we track a float uh here we're passing it an object to track and this is where that actor filter comes into handy where you can filter by different actors or pawns or characters uh, this character will pop up and say hey I am tracking uh, a variable called player speed and it's outputting this value same thing with the booleans same thing with the object which I am tracking in the begin play here so since something like this doesn't update on a tick, you only need to track it on begin play to see if it's valid or not valid. So if I compile that and go into full screen and hit play, let me turn on my widget and you'll see here that my player speed is being tracked, it, whether I'm crouched is being tracked, whether I'm sliding is being tracked and also what my movement component is. So uh as these things change they will get updated and you can see here uh, my crouch is false but if i slide you can see it's true and then slide velocity pops up boost jump will pop up and then wall jump will also pop up if i use those variables and the depending on how you track your variables they might pop up right on the initialization of the widget or whenever they are updated but once they are added to the widget for this play session they are continuously tracked and then that's where the filter comes in handy so you can filter by just a data type uh, i don't have any integers but we can filter by vectors 
just booleans or objects and it'll only display that particular data type on the widget you can also switch to the other actor but you can see here that this actor only has a character movement component because it's not ticking and it's not updating any of the other values for me but if I go back here to the character that's actually being used um, you can see that all these things are still it's, it's got the last known values and it's got the current up-to-date data for me so um, like I said this is a, a, a probably a niche type of tool that maybe a certain amount of people will use but I feel like if I found it useful then other people might find it useful and there's no reason to you know to try to sell this or anything like like I, it is free uh, uh, it's available for you guys on my gum road if you want to just get it you can go ahead and get it but if you want to drop the boy a little bit of change you dig what i'm saying you can go ahead and drop me a dollar five dollars you know what i'm saying make be be gracious you know that's the dollar flag but uh it's it's whatever man like i said it's free if you guys if you guys figure out you need it and you say okay maybe i maybe i do need that let me go ahead and try it out uh just go ahead and grab it off the gum road store and you know if you got any questions or anything hop in the discord i'll try to help um but like i said this this is a um a pretty pretty niche plugin so i don't expect everybody to need it but it is there if it if you do need it um like i said the use cases for it could be something like tracking like a a variable that's updating in a tick function or updating in a movement component or even like something as hard to track as animation data which is like animation data is hard to track because in order to actually track the animation data you need to be animating or to see what the uh, actual animation uh, values are doing you need to be animating so having a tool like this that's able to say hey I want to add this value to my uh, tracker and uh, it's cool if it's a, a ticking value I can always see what's going on with it and I can always keep up to date with it and it's not that hard to see if, it, if it's visually hard to see I'll change that just let me know in the comments or in the discord but I feel like it's pretty clear to see what's going on here you can see it's all color coded by the types you know green for floats red for booleans that light teal for objects and yellow for um, vectors um, so yeah, try to make it, I try to make it useful and try to make it cool. So let me know if you guys find this helpful and there are some videos showing you how to set this up in a fresh project as well as an existing project. So if you guys are interested, I'll see you in those videos. Peace.